Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a with Jaspi 7 box RBI baseball mixer. 2 3 4 5 6 7. There are the 7 boxes and we're giving away 50 bucks at the end of the break. Separate dice roll at the end. So there's all the boxes right there. Thanks everyone for getting into it. And big thank you to all of these folks for getting into it. And they're all the teams right here. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Five and a three, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we've got Will. Down to Rolando. Five and a three, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Tigers down to Red Sox after eight. All right, so Will, you have the Tigers. Richard with the Rangers. Paul with the A's. Richard with the Twins. Robert, you got the Diamondbacks. Fidel Cairo with the Marlins. Richard with the Cardinals. Barry with the Braves. EO with the Orioles. Mark, you got the Reds. Steven with the Nats. Bradley with the Rays. Steven with the Angels. Ian, you have the Dodgers. Richard, Yankees. Rolando, Blue Jays. Jimmy Brandt, you got the Royals. Jeremy S. with the Strohs. Richard with the Mets. Jared with the Phillies. EO with the Cubs. Michael Hansen with the Padres. Brenda with the White Sox. John, you got the Rockies. Ian with the Mariners. Tim with the Indians. Sean, last spot, Mojo Pirates. Michael Jones with the Giants. Richard with the Brew Crew. And Rolando with the Red Sox. Rolando Garcia. And let's sort by team. Orioles up for trades is EO. Yeah, didn't you want to? You said you were looking for a trout and you got randomized the Angels? I mean, that's kind of a sort of a little bit of sorcery happening there. Good luck, man. Okay, so, oh, before you start trading, just keep in mind, I guess it's all recent. There's one 2017, so that's. Uh, that's Bellinger and uh, and Aaron Judge. Remember, 2018 is uh, Shohei Otani here. And then 2019, of course, is the current guys. Tatis Jr., Guerrero Jr., Eloy Jimenez, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We got Pitt up for trade. Houston up for trade. We'll give it a couple moments. We are watching College Baseball World Series. Michigan up one nothing in a best of three. Vanderbilt up one nothing in this game, game two, top of the sixth. All right, so should we go? Houston for Mets, maybe? I don't know if Richard's in the room here, Jeremy. But I'm about to close the trade window. Trade window going once. Trade window going twice. Trade window closed. Let's print. Let's rip. Good luck, everybody. I'll, I'll keep this card next to me, so I'll try. Well, I might forget anyway, but I'll try not to forget. All right, so obviously we're going to save some of the higher end boxes and the autograph baseball for last. But we'll do, well, let's bring up the Series 2 to the foreground. We'll do Series 2 first. Oh, there's the printout. 
Good luck, everyone. Good luck. I'm assuming veteran commons won't ship in this. Yeah, no veteran commons will ship, but all obviously everything else does. Rookies, inserts, numbered cards, hits, obviously. All right, so what's going on in baseball while I open up these packs? Looks like no final scores yet. Uh, the Yankees apparently have hit 28 straight home runs. Or in 28 straight games, they've hit a home run, which is insane. That's uh, that's the, what, Major League record? Yeah, all-time Major League mark. Crazy. Good luck, everybody. And there's our autograph, Miles Mikolas. Nice. That goes to the Cardinals, Richard Z with the Redbirds. One twelve out of one fifty. That mid eighties design. That's pretty cool. Oh no no no, Bryson. This is not a channel for you <laughs> to promote yourself. We're not a bulletin board. Yeah, Mikolas looks like he he could he would have played in the eighties, huh? That's a two thousand nineteen. No, I'd rather not, cards. It's like, it's like walking into... It's like walking into someone's uh, shop and saying, Hey, come to my shop. There's out of 25, Chris Archer. Sean, weren't you trying to trade the Pirates? Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo? I don't, I don't know what you want me to say, Carmona's. Should I, uh, all right, see you guys.
Well, that mojo just doesn't happen just by demanding it, Carmona's. Out of 67, Jameson Tyon. Which team should trade their logo, Cards Are Us is asking. Um, there's Bryce Wilson and Juan Ligueras to 25 for the Mets. Which team should tra change their logo? Hmm. The Mets logo is fine. A's logo is fine. I like the new Miami logo, Tim. I actually thought that's kind of sharp. You don't like that? I always kind of felt like the... Where'd that go? That Mariners logo looks a little busy. They I, Maybe they can simplify... I, I I don't know if I like that Diamond Black Packs logo. We'll get them next time, Carmonas. Everything else is pretty uh I think everything else is pretty nice. The Sox, Red Sox logo is pretty cool. I mean, that's kind of... It's a little boring, right? I don't know if Tampa Bay has enough, like... Has enough, like, baseball clout to <laughs> to just use TB. Put a, put a Manta Ray on there. Yeah, there are some objections to the Indians logo. Redskins and the Indians are uh, are in the same boat. Yeah, I heard that Tim, like that they were ex at least explore the Rays were at least exploring the idea of splitting time between Tampa Bay and Montreal, which I think is ridiculous. Ho I hope that never comes to plan, because I think you're just kind of like it's sort of wishy washy. You're sort of fence sitting in both of the uh, markets, and it's kind of not fair to either market. They're never going to get a stadium built if they're only spending half the time in any city. Montreal or Tampa Bay is not building them a stadium only for them to spend half the time there. And there's the Barry Larkin MLB logo. Right, Jay? Completely ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, and someone else mentioned that too. When that news broke cards, yeah, the x-rays, I thought it was kind of fun. Yes, I know. Mix between the expos. I get it. But yeah, I, oh, that go, that Barry Larkin obviously goes to the red. That's for Mark B. Well, taxes is already a nightmare for players in the first place, Jay. You know, like... First of all, all ball players pay taxes in every state they play in. And they pay taxes if they go up to Canada. But now to have like where do you like have like residency and there's, like, there's all sorts of weird issues there, you know, so there's a lot there's a lot going on. But I mean, yeah, ultimately Tampa Bay has you know, has a has a lease. The Rays have a, like, they have to fulfill the lease, I guess, unless they have to break that. Florida doesn't have sales tax, I think. Or no, they don't have a state income tax, right? I think that's what it is. 
I think it's Oregon that doesn't have a sales tax. But yeah, there, there's we'll do 18 first, the older one first. But yeah, there's all sorts of, I mean, it's just, it's just a hassle. I mean, it's really just that what it is, it's a hassle. Right, if you're playing like 41 games in Canada, 40 or 41 games in Canada, and you, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's an it's an accounting nightmare. <laughs> I don't think they'll do it unless unless it's uh, I don't know. If it, it just just move them, <laughs> break the lease, just move them. If they if they really don't want to be there, or build a stadium in the right part of town. That's what I keep hearing that this that the current stadium Tropicana is not in a nice part of town and it's also difficult to get to. It's not near where the where the Buccaneers and the like the Lightning play. But I, I mean at least try building a a, a little stadium where all the other stadiums are. At least try that. See if that changes anything. But I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's just not. Maybe maybe it's just already too late. I guess Miami got a new stadium built. But so I don't. I don't think it's gonna happen. It's just. It's just kind of. You kind of cannibalize each each other's market. Montreal and Tampa Bay are sort of cannibalize each other, and you're never gonna build whatever small fan bases they have. There's Jack Flaherty. That's for the Cardinals. Goes to Richard. What other cities could take on a baseball team, Tim's asking? That's a good, uh, Portland, Las Vegas, Charlotte. If MLB wants to get a little, uh, you know, throw some international flavor there, they can try Mexico City. Uh, San Juan and Puerto Rico. Yeah, San Antonio, that's a good one. I think... Uh, but I think it would have to be... I think it would have to be... Um, there's Max Freed. It would have to be... Aren't these two starting tonight? Or am I crazy? But I think it would have to be um, a team moving. I don't think... I don't like the idea of expansion. I mean, look at how many bad teams there are. You know, like... There's just not enough talent to go around. Steve's wondering if we need a fourth... Texas baseball team. There's four baseball teams in California. Five. A's, Giants, Dodgers, Angels, Padres. If, if California can have five, I think, I think Texas can sustain a fourth. Or a third. Yeah, Rangers, Astros. They can definitely handle the third. Rangers, Astros, and a San Antonio team. Jay Cohen, you really think they're going to expand in the next uh, in the next decade? Yeah, maybe. I don't think they should, but I think they want to go. They want to go to a, like a thirty-two, a thirty-two teamer. Tim was thinking cities that have NFL or and or NBA franchises but no baseball. Omaha would be interesting. I don't I think Omaha would make a little more sense than Boise. What's what what is there is there enough interest in Boise for, for, for baseball? Yeah, I know, Jay. That's see that's what I'm thinking too. They'll eventually go thirty two and then realign. They'll go it'll be like football. It'll be north, south, east, west. 
Yeah, Omaha is a good baseball town. I mean, College World Series and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I think I think Tim also mentioned New Orleans, says Roy. You think baseball would work better than basketball in New Orleans? Probably, right? LSU is a good baseball and football town, right? I guess they've got a decent basketball team. Ben Simmons went to LSU, right? There's Jose Martinez for the Cardinals. That's another one for Richard Z. Jay saying when San Antonio had that new minor league football team, it broke like it, attendance records every week. So yeah, maybe maybe San Antonio is prime for like a second pro team. No, I think Green Bay probably doesn't work. I think Milwaukee's corner of that market. And if it's not going to work in Miami and Tampa Bay, it probably won't work in Orlando. What's up, Johnny? What's going on? There was a redemption right there. Let's go through these other ones first. There's Justin Upton. Gold. Or other numbers right there. 30 out of 50 for the Angels. That goes to Steve. Tokyo is too far. And it's Yachty, finest origins autograph. Another one for Richard Z and the Cardinals. Look at that. Yeah, I have a, I have a feeling that Major League Baseball, I mean, NFL is already thinking of trying to get a team in, in London somewhere. My thinking is that you've seen baseball play some games in, I don't think they'll put a team in London either. But, um, I think they'll try to, you know, I don't think they're going to put a team in London. They'll have, I think they'll continue to have exhibitions there, but, you know, they played in San Juan, right? Before already? I think the Twins went and some other, another team. They played Mexico City. So I could see the next two being, yeah, we mentioned Vegas, George Cobb. Yeah, I think Vegas. Um, which is already doing well with the Knights, the hockey team, and the Raiders are already going there, so basketball and baseball aren't too far behind. And then, I'll, then I think they put one in the Latin American market, probably Puerto Rico. Scherzer, I think that's a different parallel, right? No, maybe not. There we go. And that's out of 75. It's rookie Aaron Judge. And there's Christian Arroyo to 99. I guess the black parallel, Steve's saying, are, are a little different, right? <laughs> Roy wants Hawaii. I don't know. If, I I don't know if that's gonna work. Going going to Seattle is far enough away. Will I still be a Raiders fan? Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I be? I, I was a Raiders fan when they were in L.A. in Oakland to L.A. to Oakland. In fact, when they're in Vegas. They'll actually be like an hour or so closer to me. I think they'll be an hour or two closer to me. Triple Threads usually drops B-dubs, I think, in the fall. October-ish. George says Vegas is where you think, with, oh, the New Orleans Pelicans will end up? That's interesting. I could see that. All right, there's Ian Happ. 
There's Ichiro, and the frame auto is an Astro. It's Joe Musgrove, rookie autograph. I think I've been pitching pretty decently in Pittsburgh. That goes to, in fact, I think, are Musgrove and Garrett Cole facing each other today? I'm getting all these starters mixed up. They got traded for each other. Garrett Cole is pitching for the Astros. No, it's Trevor Williams. Never mind. All right, there you go. All right. You don't like I like driving, so I don't mind driving to Vegas. Flying's a little bit easier, but but I mean driving to Oakland is like seven hours. So, so it takes it takes you six hours to get to LA? Man. Featherfoot. No, it takes it takes like an hour compared to Vegas it takes like another hour or two to get to uh to get to Oakland. And then you're in Oakland. And then San Francisco is too expensive to stay in. <laughs> Vegas. My sister's in Vegas. A lot of hotels in Vegas. be fantastic. There's Zach Granke to 99. <laughs> I should buy the Oakland Coliseum. I don't know. I think the, uh, I think the Warriors already bought that area. They're going to turn into like a little sports park, I think. That's already sorted out. The hit is another Astro. Jeremy S. Two Astros. Alex Bregman. Two color patch and autograph. 30 out of 75. No, it was the A's that bought that land. Nice Bregman. The A's bought that land. So, so once the Raiders are out, right, A's will have a new stadium in a few years, and the Warriors are moving across the bay. So I think the A's bought that land, and they're going to make like a, like a youth sports complex out there or something like that. All right, two boxes to go. Um... Jay Cohen, we are not going to the National. We're moving into a brand new shop um, in a couple weeks. So that has kind of taken up all of our resources. So probably next year, but not this year. And even if we go next year, I don't know if we're going to be breaking. All right, we've got Harrison Bader, rookie autograph. I think we... New store, it's going to be like three times the size. I know, sorry, Jay Cohen. You can come visit the new shop, though. It's going to be triple the size of this shop here. There's a pinball machine there, a card bar. This is Richard Z, whose Cardinals has been hitting really well today. There will be bigger breaking studios. All right, next one here is... Golden Graphs, Laser Show, Dustin Bedroya, 14 out of 20. Gold Ink Autograph going to Rolando Garcia. That's right, Tim. An actual bar with stools that you can saddle up to, you know. After, after a long day at work, you put down your lunch pail and be like, hey, serve me a, serve me a Golden Graphs, Dustin Bedroya. Um, and I'll be in the back with like an, like, like an old apron. With a 1800s mustache. I have an old rag where I'm cleaning cards. All right, so that'll go to Rolando Garcia and the Red Sox. But it is an actual, we're building out an actual bar that we set up there. It'll look like a bar except with cards. No, there's no drinking bar. The alcohol license here in Los Angeles, California, it's way too expensive. Yeah, I'm sure you could bring your own booze, so I guess, if you want to. All right, we can play a quick game of Who Am I? Where I give you clues, and there's the JSA stuff right there. Where I give you the clues, and you try to guess who it is. All right. I 
I mean, it'll be a private establishment, so you, you can you can bring bring your own booze here. All right, who am I? I am a retired pitcher. I am a first ballot Hall of Famer with 83.2% of the vote. A six-time All-Star and a World Series champion to play for one, two, three, four, five teams my entire career. Pitched a no-hitter in the early 70s. But that's not really what I'm known for, I think. Um, I have a lot of catchphrases as a broadcaster now. Did I really coin can of corn? No way. That he didn't coin. He did not coin can of corn. But he talks about cheese, educated cheese. Talks about moss, hair on your head. I think he coined walk off. Pretty great. Um. That's right, Steve. I think Steve Sane got it first. Eckersley, Runkle too, and Ray Jay Cohen. There you go. Yeah, I had a one hundred ninety-seven wins, one seventy-one losses, three-five ERA, twenty-four hundred, just a little over twenty-four hundred strikeouts, and three hundred and ninety saves. No, Runkle, your first guess was right. There's the JSA sticker right there. And there you go. Dennis Eckersley played for a number of teams. So let's see. He's a retired player. Let's see who he played for the longest. It's got to be the A's, right? Yeah, he played for the A's uh, for nine seasons. And then Red Sox for eight seasons. Then... Uh, Cubs for three, Cleveland for three, St. Louis for two. But yeah, he played with the A's for nine seasons. So that goes to Paul Kulwit. That goes to Paul. So there you go, Paul. Oakland A's for you. Oh, we got to give away money. Can't forget about that. So let's fire up random.org and let's see who gets the money. Robert Runkel down to, oh, let me switch screens. There you go. Robert Runkel down to Stephen Surrey and everyone in between. Has a chance at $50 of break credit. This is a winner take all, right? Yep, winner take all. A little Jaspi coin. Almost as good as how Bitcoin's been doing these days. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list. One and a six, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times. Name on top, $50 a break, the seven, right? Yeah, there's seven. Name on top, 50 bucks a break credit is going to be for Steven Sane. There you go, Steven. $50 a break credit going your way. Congrats to you. Thanks, everybody, for breaking with us. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.